Hello everyone, I'm Simone D'Antone, I'm business developer leader for AWS. This year at IBC, we are going to demonstrate a glass-to-glass -glass production, starting from a real camera feed from the booth and going back to the booth with a multi-viewer. So let me explain a little bit what we are going to do here. And as you can see on this diagram, we are starting to collect a camera feed from our booth, actually from that camera over there shooting our booth. And the signal is sent out to the cloud where uh, our demo starts. The final production of this will be sent back again on this multi-viewer, but let's do step by step. So the first portion of the demo, it's about live production. And this is happening on the other side of this wall where we are doing basically vision mixing, audio manipulation, instant replay, the typical and usual stuff about a production, a real production environment. The cool thing is that this produced output, once it's done, is sent out to four different playout engines. And the reason for this is because we want to demonstrate how much easy it is to work with several vendors on these industries. And it's not only feasible for file-based playout, but also for live based playout. So in this case, we are simulating the live feed taken from a real produced feed on the booth. And as you can see from this diagram, for example, we are working with Grus Valley, so we are running a clip right now. And at any given moment, we can decide to take the signal coming from the live event, take focus, and switch on the live feed. It's happening quite instantaneously, right? And this is about the uh, playout. The cool thing is that uh, the output of the playout, of each of the playout, is sent to the distribution area. But first, we are going to use M2A Connect from M2A Media as a sort of a router into the cloud, where we can decide which signal from these four vendors can go to the distribution area. And as you can see on this diagram here, basically, it's treated like a real router. So we can actually do a cross point across several uh, accounts. That's another important thing. All these instances are running on different and separated accounts, each of them hosted and owned by our partner here. So it's really a cross-connection environment, a cross-connected environment. The part of the distribution starts with Media Connect. Actually, we decide which feed goes to Media Connect and we start our distribution mechanism. The first line is about StatMax and satellite distribution. So as you can see, we are taking all of them and we are creating a multi-program transport stream using AWS Elemental StatMax and simulating a satellite feed. Of course, we are not using a satellite for the demo, but it's delayed just to simulate the typical latency of a satellite feed. And this satellite feed goes back into this multi-viewer. The second line is about traditional CDN. So uh, another feed is taken by another media live instances, goes to media package and travels uh, CDN, in this case CloudFront CDN, to go through public internet. Of course, we are expecting a lot of delay in this case, but we will see in a second. Then here where the thing starts to become interesting. We are having another media connect here and we are distributing from this point on three different mechanisms. The first one is the typical SRT over public internet, okay? And we expect some latency on this. The other two solutions are from Cinemedia and Harmonic, where Cinemedia is using a proprietary technology that uh, uh, creates a transport stream over HTTP to use CDN and satellite and replace satellite as a primary distribution system. The second one is HLS low latency implemented by uh, Harmonic, traveling CloudFront HLS low latency as well. So what's the output of this? All this signal is going to a multi-viewer, an instance running in another account in AWS, and this is the output of the multi-viewer. Here actually you can see that we have the live feed, we have the output of um, Grass Valley in this example, and we can compare easily the delay from SRT on public internet, which is about six seconds, satellite, which typically is 10 seconds. But the cool thing is that comparing the three different CDN mechanisms starting from the same, from the same source, from the same SRT, we are having HLS of traditional HLS of about 32 seconds, while HLS low latency is a lot uh, way less. It's just six seconds of delay, while transport stream over HTTP, it's even, even less, so three seconds. And with this number, it's quite easy to understand how CDN could replace satellite in the near future. So if you want to know more, let us know. We are here for you.